You can call it a homecoming for Louisiana State Bird. Coastal erosion and an oil spill have caused trouble in the past for the black brown pelican. But NBC Local 33's Harrison Golden shows us what state leaders are doing to help bring them back. You can't drive to Queen Bess Island and good luck swimming. The surest ways there are by boat or flying like the brown pelican does. Though toward the edges of Louisiana, there hasn't been much flying lately. We know we're in a race against time. We can blame coastal erosion and the BP oil spill 10 years ago this spring. Those disasters have damaged where these birds had nested. But in a matter of weeks, new rookeries will rise. The hope here echoes what James Earl Jones once said. If you build it, they will come. Several hundred, maybe even several thousand nests here on this island uh, for migratory birds, including our state bird, the uh, brown pelican. This is really important uh, to make sure that not just the brown pelican, but a whole host of uh, birds have an opportunity to nest uh, here as they have for, for generations. Pelicans aside, Queen Bess is also a barrier island, shielding Louisiana's coast from nature's force. That's why its $19 million restoration also brought federal interest. There's a reason why we refer, call it America's wetlands. This is a, a national issue that the nation needs to pay attention to because coastal Louisiana is not only important to the state of Louisiana or the Gulf Coast, but the nation as a whole. The new habitats will be ready for nesting season later this month. On Queen Bess Island, Harrison Golden, NBC Local 33 News.